Hello, welcome back to Blow Harvest Vintage Toys. Yes, I've got out of some Matchbox catalogues for the ongoing series of From the Archives. Now, Matchbox was a popular British toy brand, which was introduced by Lesney Products in 1953, and is now owned by Mattel Inc., which uh, purchased the brand in 1997. Now, I'm just going to go through some of the I'm not going to go through them all. I've got four here. I've got 1979, 80, 82, 83. Now, a couple will probably be similar. I mean, 80, that's 83 and 83. But we'll go through. We'll go through them. I just, I just love the artwork. And it's artwork. It's not product pictures. Not photographs taken of the products. It, it's people, artists doing artwork. Now, so, this is for photography. Some some of the art, I mean, the box art is amazing on Matchbox. Uh, I have a Dinky Catalog, which is all is all just artist re rendering. Um, there's nothing wrong with the photographs, obviously. I mean, I remember I remember most of these. I, I had things like that. That's like an Adventure 2000, which I think is in this catalog. Um, so we're just going to go through a bit of a reminiscing, really. And um, Rollomatics, things like that. I just, I just, it's just nostalgia just to look at these. I remember having that uh, Range Rover police car with the things going around. They were called Rollomatics. And even in that motorbike, it's just awesome, awesome. So we're just going to have a quick look through and um, talk about Matchbox, really. The brand was given its name because of the original diecast matchbox toys were sold in boxes similar to those which had match matches sold them so matchbox <laughs> that's pretty self-explanatory again i like i like these t these things because they use those in the adventure 2009 i love that i used to have those i've got some of them loose now but I mean, the, I had the tank. Where, again, it was a rollomatic where it, they had action features in them when you pushed them along. Oh, the police car and the van. I love the American um, cars. So they didn't do just do uh, the, the small scale cars. I've never seen that before. I'll be honest with you. It's saying new, new for 1979-80. So it's like a scale extra for your for your existing small scale cars. The sets, brilliant sets. All different I mean, farm set, railway set, jets, military construction. Oh, car ferry that was that was brilliant i remember that big plastic thing it was and then you got your play mats for your uh, for everything to go on your cases collector cases they're uh, very soft after now these these mats i i don't remember having a, actually having any of these but i really wanted them it's just it's just basically cardboard but Again, it's the imagination you had when you were a kid. Everything's done for you now as a kid. Look at these. Steer and go. Oh, wow. A skateboarder. Never saw the skateboarder. I remember the, uh, the steer and go car. One. Tracks. I remember the tracks. Um... Hot Wheels has obviously taken over the Matchbox brand, as I said, Mattel, and Hot Wheels and Matchbox combine with these tracks. And you can still you can still buy the tracks, and the the Hot Wheels just have so many different tracks these days. Jets, and 
all different planes, helicopters, space shuttle. Yes, um, Matchbox didn't have a lot of licenses, but obviously they had the, the uh, Disney license. So again, these are photographs, but those obviously are artist renderings. Which I, I prefer, here we go, this is what I'm talking about. The Adventure 2000, fantastic set, absolutely fantastic set. I have that one, that one, and that one at the moment. That came separately, then it came as a set. I had them all when I was, uh, I don't think I had that one actually, to be honest with you. I think I had all those, and I think I got these separately as well. But all the little uh, little guys, and this, oh, just what a fantastic set that was. And we've got the box, the box set of, of, of all that, just amazing. I love those. Getting on to the Super Kings now, which are the um, larger scale models, which I didn't I didn't have many of Matchbox. I think I think with the large scale vehicles, I think I was uh, more of a Corgi person for the large scale as opposed to Matchbox. I had that. I remember having the chopper very vividly. setting up ramps for it and uh, doing jumps and things like that. Yeah, uh, I think I had the Fire Chief. I think I was really into Fire, because I remember having a lot of Fire Chief vehicles. Not as many fire engines, surprisingly. I had the Group 4 um, security vehicle with the gold that goes in the back, and it actually had the... Um, combination on the back so it was locked military again they've repackaged that Aventi 2000 into a uh, military vehicle I think I, I think I had that I think I had that so these it's, it's hard to recall sometimes what um, what you did have, I had some of the models of yesteryear as well. Not very popular anymore, unfortunately. Hard to, hard to, hard to sell. Hard to get. Well, they're hard to get hold of actually. So it's it's just uh, surprising. Sea Kings, I had some of these. I had that one. I think I must have had the aircraft carrier because I love. I used to love aircraft carriers. And had little wheels underneath. So with the place, I remember I had I had the submarine. Definitely had the submarine. Um, with the little play sets that we showed earlier. Jumblies. No, I don't know. I don't know about those. I don't know what those are. Power track again, like a scale electric matchbox. And they had um I don't really recall I, there's only one that I really recall, but why is look at that, wow. Model kits. So there you go. It's uh, going on to the kids stuff now. Uh, so we'll uh, we'll oh there you go. Mobile um, mobile action command. I was asked about those and I, I couldn't remember them. I remember them coming in little boxes. Also not the vehicles, just the just the figures with all the little accessories. I remember those. So that's the first one. We'll go. We'll go. We'll go through the second one because it's mainly. It's, it's mostly similar. The bit added extras, obviously. Um, I just want to go through to the the later ones because there won't be many differences to the same same sets, things like that. Quick look through these. Um, it's very similar. This is what I want to show you. Adventure 2000 in a different colour. Now I don't remember them being in this blue. And um, I've looked and tried to find the blue ones. 
but I cannot find the blue ones. These little little cars things come in all different shapes and sizes and colours. Especially that one. There's lots of different colours of that one. And there's very rare examples of that. But I've not seen these in blue. So if anybody out there has got these in blue or knows where I can find some of those blue ones, I'd be very, very happy. I had the airplane on the truck. I had some I, I liked something that was out of the box, something a bit unusual. Again, we're going through all the, the Super Kings. It's all very similar. It's just probably the same same type of catalogue, but it was just nice that that was um, a totally different. Uh, let's go to the back. So it'll show you different. Um, this is it. That's the one I remember. I think it's that one. We could actually turn the cars around when you press the thing on top. Lane changes. Better than scale electric in many ways. But it's just not marketed as uh, as well. Again, Budweiser. So it's, it's a very similar catalogue as that one. Than the first one. So we'll have a look through this one. I think this is um, set out differently. More up to date is this one. There you go. Pontiac Fiber. I got one of those. Painted it black. Made it into the Night Rider. Because it's the same car. Because I couldn't get out of a Knight Rider car. That was the only one I could find. A Matchbox one. They painted. That painted black. They actually did a Dodge. Uh, cha there you go. Dodge Challenger. Which was meant. It's meant to be like a Jugs of Hazard. Because obviously Matchbox didn't have any licenses. Apart from the, the Disney ones. They didn't have any license. That was Corgi. So there's, there's a copy of the. Uh, Jokes of Asset Car, because you got your police cars as well. And um, I think that's the only reason they didn't make the Pontiac black. But it's 1982, it's around the time of Knight Rider. I think they may have, may have done it in black, if they'd have known a bit uh, earlier. Maybe they could have re-released it as a black one, but then, obviously, they might get uh, into trouble. I had that one. Stock car, brilliant. Space, space shuttle command. Some awesome cars, awesome. Now, where's Corgi? Had all the licenses and had the uh, convoy. They I love these, love these. Had these, these. I was really into space stuff, so I had the the uh, rocket transporter. Uh, I think I had that. I can remember having that because I had the fork truck and it lifted the, the containers up. I think I had the boat as well. I love those convoys. There was the small scale, small scale um, size, but truck obviously trucks to go with the cars, the small scale cars. Disney again, Popeye. The brand grew to encompass a broad range of toys, including large-scale die-cast models, plastic kits, and action figures, as we showed earlier. The Mobile Action Command, which are uh, pretty cool. Pretty forgotten these days. The Audi Quattro, look at that for artwork. I mean, it's just pretty basic, but it just shows you what, what you're getting, and that is the car that you're getting. I prefer that basic artwork the actual picture there's the fire truck that I always saw in the shop and I, I never got it was around £10 and so I was, wasn't really into the large scale vehicles I had that though <laughs> I had that for some reason the Kellogg's tanker why I don't know I was uh, a strange child <laughs> Some say I'm still strange. So there's there's that um, group four, and there's the com combination door 
That was awesome. The bridge builder. Oh, I always wanted that. That was fantastic, the bridge builder. Again, large scale. Skybusters. Models of yesteryear. Fantastic products. So let's go on to the last one now. 19. This is 1983. Again, similar to the to the last one, but um, just some awesome. Now you're getting a little man on your on your motorbike. And uh, the repackaging, the rollomatics into uh, different vehicles. Police motorcycle with the guy on. There's the Audi Quattro again, but small scale this time. That was a popular car. Still is. Still is a popular car. There's the Pontic Firebird in red this time. I can't remember if I got a red one or a, or a, the blue one. I think it was a blue one that I bought. Because if it had been red, I'd have probably kept it red. But why didn't they do a black one? Even if even if even if they kept the grey bit at the bottom and the black bit at the top, it could have been car instead of kit. <laughs> uh, during the nineteen eighties, Matchbox began to uh, switch to more conventional plastic and cardboard blister packs. So the uh, the Matchboxes they don't they don't really show Matchboxes, but I'll I'll bring some up and I'll show you what the Matchboxes actually look like and. Um, they went to more of a blister pack and they used that we used by other die cast toy brands such as Hot Wheels. The box style packaging was reintroduced for the collector's market in recent re years, particularly with the release of the 35th anniversary of Supervast in 2004. The um, the original lot of um, small scale figures, small scale cars, were numbered one to seventy five on each line. It's also called the regular series, super series, seventy five series. So it shows you six, like they're all numbered. Up to the 74 there, so there's there's 75. So every line was numbered differently. So every year there was a 75 line. So we'll go back to the others and look at that. The security truck again. We'll click quickly go through this. The accessories were numbered A, the models this year are numbered Y or YY, major packs was uh, M, king size was K, later super kings are king speeds, this one there. that's cool, wow. there's the other picture again, the scorpions, skybusters, two packs, battle kings, Sea Kings, Adventure 2000, which I've already mentioned. They were numbered K2001 to K2006. The Convoys were at CY with the number. Uh, Dinkit was bought by Matchbox in the late 1980s. Uh, number, uh, number DY. There you go. Let's have a look at... Let's go back to the first one and see if they're numbered as well. See you go. They should they should be up to 75. 70, 75. So you've got you've got a line of 75 always. Matchbox 75. And the last one's the helicopter. These are the new ones that are coming out later the year. So they'll take some out and put those in as as the as the numbers, but there's always 75 on a line. And then there's your two packs. 
That was called Matchbox 900 for some reason. In addition to these, a couple, uh, series of gift sets were sold by Lesney, each compromising models from the die-cast range, sometimes from different ranges from a single set. And the sets were updated, changed regularly for various reasons, mainly to ensure that the models contained therein were current. Set numbers are often relocated as the same fashion as a normal series. Some sets included model variations officially released only in the set. Generally these were variant colours. While other contained additional non diecast items not available without the set. So there you go, just a quick look at... There you go, that's that's what I'm talking about. Um, you got the... You started off in the matchbox. Beautiful artwork design. That's what I first started collecting. I got these. I stack these was probably my first collection. Every week I'd go to the market stall, add 50p pocket money, and I'd get one of these little matchbox cars. I had it, she had them in the little tray, and I'd, it'd take me ages to pick one. Ages to pick one. I remember having that one. <laughs> and they were just brilliant. It was just. I wish I wish I'd keep, I would love to have some of these boxes. I'd love the cars to put in them, but to have them these boxes again would be real nostalgia for me. And then, as I say, they later on went into the blister packs during the 1980s. They switched to those, which were more like the Hot Wheels, Corgi. Unfortunately, so they weren't actually match boxes, were they? Which is I don't know why they did that to be honest with you. I don't know why they did that. Using less cardboard and you're using plastic. So back in the day that had been uh, well now these days that have been more acceptable than using the plastic. So there you go. Toy manufacturers bring back matchbox. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed that little uh, look through Matchbox. Um, I do have a, a Corgi catalogue which I'm going to go through next time. So please subscribe and you can look at fantastic artwork like that. Thanks for watching. May the toys be with you. Fun fact for today. The system. Since 1958, Lego has followed a precise universal system. That means a Lego block made in 1960 will work flawlessly with a Lego block made today. After all, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And who'd know better than the people at Lego?